Greetings and salutations, my dear LIGO pack. Great to have you here again. And as promised, I will be doing a preview slash tutorial on MDEX, which is the very first AMM protocol, standing for Automated Market Maker, on Huobi's eco chain known as Heco, which is kind of like trying to be basically the next Binance chain. And they actually got very fast block times, very low fees. This is around you know, um, third of a cent as of right now, as I've interacted within the last couple of days with the chain and also 500 TPS. So this is a lot more affordable option compared to obviously Ethereum, but also Binance Smart Chain, which is kind of slowly ramping up on those fees and tend to have like 12, 12 cent uh, transactions, which to me is still like very high, not for the whales, obviously, but for the little people who want to really access DeFi, I think it's very important to have sub ones and transactions. I think that is crucial. So we're going to be talking about MDEX and I will be basically showing you how to use it and how to provide liquidity and the trade mining and everything that they have basically ongoing. And this is actually something that they really just added and I didn't have this on my yesterday's video. So basically, um, they are doing repurchases and rewards and DAOs. So there's actually like use case behind their own native token, which you can get by providing liquidity and also trade mining. So the trade mining is something I want to start off because it's a thing that you don't exactly see on any deck. So basically when you trade between certain pairings that are listed here, so I'm going to be trading the USD, which is the Huobi um, stable coin between uh, Huobi token, this is the wrapped Huobi token, the W stands for wrapped. I will be getting, um, you know, MDX from the fees that are going to be basically uh, gained here. So I've done a trade yesterday and I basically got 0 0.03 MDX for doing just the one trade. Now I'm already also obviously providing liquidity, but this is a very cool feature who people don't necessarily like impermanent loss and don't like the risks of adding liquidity, but then they actually want to trade on the platform and by trading on the platform, you will be getting MDX, which is a very exciting thing. And there's a lot of different pairings here for the most uh, popular tokens and coins basically uh, listed here. Obviously there's things like Bitcoin cash on the chain and Litecoin and Polkadot because all of these are basically picked in tokens that Huobi basically holds. Now let's get back into the swapping, which is the most basic thing we have here. But in order to obviously log into the platform, you need to add the Heco chain to your MetaMask. And this is a very relatively easy task to do. You go into the drop bar here, uh, choose customer PC, and you're gonna be filling all of these six or is it this five? Uh, five fields here, which can be found on this Medium article, but I'm going to be adding the actual um, things on the description. So you're going to be adding these five things into these fields here, and you're going to be clicking Save, and then voila, you have the Huobi mainnet available on your MetaMask account. The Huobi token obviously exists both on Ethereum and also on the Huobi's eco chain. So make sure you're going to be very clear when you withdraw it from an exchange um, which one you're going to be getting. Not that it matters because when you're going to be switching between the networks, your address is going to be the same. It's just that maybe you expected it to go to Huobi Echo Chain, but it ends up on Ethereum. Obviously, you can bridge it over there. I, as far as I know, there is some type of a bridge uh, from Ethereum to the Huobi Chain. I could be wrong about that, but I will leave in something in the description in case there is. Now, but let's get into the actual back into the process and Obviously, if you have watched any of my AMM videos before, this is a pretty similar process to all other things. So first thing we're going to be choosing what we're going to be trading. The default is Huobi token here. Um, every time you trade, it automatically wraps up the Huobi token and that is the uh, WHT, which is the wrapped Huobi token. And when you're going to be doing it vice versa too, you're going to be trading token into Huobi. I recommend you choosing the wrapped um, Huobi token because the gas fees will be always lower when you're going to be directly uh, wrapping it into the, uh, the wrapped Huobi token. So you're going to be doing a lot of trades, always do it to VHT. Um, just a tip, this applies to all networks by the way, uh, especially on Ethereum, it's a very key thing to do and I've saved some money by just doing it into wrapped Ethereum instead of Ethereum. Now we're going to be buying something um, that is going to be listed. So obviously I want to participate on the liquidity mining. 
uh, when, when I'm going to be uh, buying something which I'm going to be providing for the pools. Because otherwise you will be just getting the rewards and that's not always the greatest thing, obviously. So um, I'm going to be buying a bit of that MDX because here they got burning system, they got governance, and they are already established within the Huobi Eco chain. This is going to be the pancake swap, the unit swap, or... Um, the equivalent on this blockchain, I'm pretty sure about it. So MDX is here to stay. And because of that, it's going to be a good investment for a long term or short term is the bigger question, obviously. But we're going to be shoving this back into and we're going to be choosing the MDX. And I'm going to be trading um, on a nice clean number here. So I'm going to be putting a one who will be here um, and we're going to be getting this much confirm the swap then the notification comes in and here you can see the actual fee very very low i'm going to be showing a text id in a second on the huobi's heco chain which is a let's say it's a sort of a clone of you know so here we saw we were literally um one fifth of a cent right now in terms of the transaction based on the huobi token price obviously the problem rises as the huobi tokens value goes up but I've talked about in the past, I would have wished that these guys would have just used like a dollar as the gas fee, like a stable coin, and then have Huobi on the side for staking and governance, but pay the gas fees on a dollar. That will, you know, reduce the congestion fees quite a lot. I just don't like the idea and this model. And we have seen it with worst cases of Ethereum, and we're going to be seeing with Binance Smart Chain what happens when the gas fee is also the the you know the price that people are going to be speculating on and now we have some mdx and we still have huobi now we're going to be going into the pool and providing it to the pool so when we add liquidity and we're going to be we already have huobi here chosen and we're going to be choosing obviously mdx i'm going to be choosing the max amount you understand that when you're going to be providing liquidity it has to be the same equal amount so this is, let's say, hypothetically, this would be $20 value, but the other sum has to be also in $20 value based on the current estimation. Here in the, in the bottom, you see the share of your pool. We're going to be getting a very, very little sum of that, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to be approving this for the trading. Once again, small, very small fee. And once that has been approved, it's going to be taking a couple of seconds, and then we can supply it into. So you always have to approve everything before you can supply them or trade them with the exclusion of the Huobi token. So that doesn't have to be um, proven. I'm going to be refreshing this um, quickly because sometimes it doesn't show the supply button. This is a known thing. Uh, and then we're going to be clicking supply, confirm supply, and confirm. Now... In a second, it will be basically going into the pool. And every time somebody trades between these pairs, I will be getting money. And I also got money just by trading. So the trade mining amount, let's go back into the trade mining tab. Um, I should probably see that there's been an increase here on the MDX because I just made a trade. Uh, maybe this uh, actually adds on a bit of a delay or maybe the sum is lower than this. But anyhow, basically, I just made some money because I traded between the pairs of MDX. And maybe actually MDX Huobi is not here. It's not. So I didn't get actually the trade mining uh, things. But it's a very good thing to incentivize trading. Um, in the same vein, it can increase congestion. So it has its downsides. But it doesn't matter. Now we have added to the actual liquidity. And we're going to be adding back to the pool. And now it should be showing us the pool in a second. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can remove it. So once you, when you want to sell out, you're just going to be clicking remove. And it removes all that MDX and Huobi tokens out from the uh, pool. Now, we obviously want to participate on the liquidity mining. That's kind of the idea here when we are playing around with such a small sums. So uh, obviously, the first thing you want to see is what is the good APY here? What is going to be giving me um, very, very good APY here? Uh, there's also single token mines. Um, all of these are 0% as of right now. I don't know if that's a display bug or what else is going on here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, single pools are great because there's no impermanent loss. And I usually like single pools. Um, it's my personal preference, even if the APY is lower, because 
I have a bit more control of my finances and a better idea what's going on. So we're going to be first, obviously, and again, doing the approval for this LP token. We're going to be confirming it. And after the confirmation, um, we're going to be basically supplying it into um, the MDEX pool. And then we will be accruing these MDEX tokens um, from the balance. I'm seeing as every time you have a liquidity token that is going to be um, a farm token that's going to be having deflation and mechanism on it, I then, then I think there's a bit more of a longer term investment to be made here. And now we're going to be confirming it again. And now basically it will be staked and we will be accruing MDEX. But I will be showing something that I provided yesterday on, on terms of liquidity. So going back here, um, yesterday I provided, I want to say I provided USDT. So yesterday I provided a v v um, wrapped Toby token and USDT pairings here. And I've made so far 0 0.06 uh, MDX. So um, that is on, you know, half a day's, about approximately a day's worth of Huobi token, uh, sorry, MDX tokens that I've made so far on the farm. And when you want to farm it, click the harvest all token. Obviously, at some point, the fees are going to be going high. So you're going to really count like how much this is going to be and how much I'm going to be paying on gas. Right now, it's, as I said, like literally like fifth of a cent. So I can like do this daily or many times a day. But um, I'm just not going to, I'm going to save all the necessary gas. Uh, and I'm just going to be like, you know, harvesting it uh, like uh, uh, at once. Um, there doesn't seem to be, and here we can see the other pair. So there doesn't seem to be actually um, a button to harvest all of my tokens at once. But um, remember to harvest all the pools that you have basically provided money into. Now, this is pretty much what I have covered so far on this MDEX. Hopefully, this was a, a good, insightful video. Actually, we've got one small thing where we can look still, which is the chart page. Here, you can basically see what's going on um, with the liquidity. There's already one billion here, which is very impressive. Huobi is a big chain. Don't rem remember that, guys. But um, you can go to the Accounts tab, and you can search your own account, Load Account Details. And here I can see basically um, what I have provided so far. Obviously, these are blank because they are in the actual um, pools. So they are because they're in the pools, they won't show up here. But if I wouldn't stake the LP tokens, they would show us the liquidity and the total fees that I've earned. So I made this much in like a matter of seconds um, just because... Um, you know, in the middle of, you know, like literally doing the video last yesterday. So um, the fees can be pretty good as well. And once you withdraw the LP tokens, you will be also getting those fees top of that. But I don't have anything else to add. I'm going to be leaving my uh, donation address down below and also leaving my email in case there are some dApps existing on Huobi who seem trustworthy. Maybe you have an audit or you know, a real transparent team, maybe even worth something out. Or you maybe operate on another blockchain, which I haven't covered yet. I'm always looking for uh, to cover cool DeFi projects out there, whatever it's another AMM or another blockchain. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys next time on the next video. Cheers.